Welcome back, everyone. A lopsided first quarter in the books already as we start the second quarter. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Boy, they've come out of that locker room with a hot hand. Those jumpers have been falling for them. And I like the physical play we're seeing, too, because this is a club that's really pounding the paint area and scoring inside. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brooke. Doris, over to you. Guys, it's hard to doubt that LeBron James, after two straight titles and four MVPs in the last five years, seems to be at the top of his game. And I think he could ultimately be a defensive player of the year at some time in his career. Now, here is Irving. He's got six. Nothing fancy about that play. Just good, hard-nosed basketball to haul in the board. T with the ball. Guarded now by Irving. Here's Robinson. Drains the 19-footer. And for Paul George, the 10th pick back in 2010. What a terrific find for the Pacers. Well, he was already a good player, but I think the injury to Danny Granger last season created the opportunity for George to really emerge as an all-star. And that's exactly what he did. Dangerous inside and out. Excellent defensive player. And not a good shot for him. They can get better looks than that. Well, one of the struggles for a young team is figuring out how to win on the road. And winning on the road is not just execution, it's preparation and mindset. And young teams struggle to put that together, and the Cavs were certainly... When you're on the road, and they struggle with that in a big way. Well, they would end up in the bottom five in scoring last year while on the road. I mean, that did them no favors. And defense, I mean, that was another issue. They couldn't stop anybody. So, you combine that offense, that defense... Going on the road, uh, you're in some trouble. Well, he's an exciting young player. Almost 6'10", great athleticism, length. Uh, Dinier. Second shot opportunity. Smith, no good. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. A nice shot by George. That well, was a dismal start from the field for them in the first quarter, but they're finally starting to turn it around. Well, I don't think it could have gotten any worse, partner. I mean, you figure they had all their bad misses out of the way and should be good to go now. Pacers trail by five. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played, Young dishes to George. The kick out to Young. Shot clock at five. Drops in the tray. Young's got five. Cavaliers have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Back to Shumper. And they come right back with their... I just think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Now, Cleveland moving it up. Here's Love. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yeah, you got that right. Outside jumper. And stolen by Jeff T. Shepard against Jefferson. Here's Ellis. Shot tonight. Puts up the baby hook. That drops. The defense just looked a little lazy on the glass there. Yeah, nobody boxing out. That's inexcusable. So an entirely new group in now for Indiana. Turner's checked in for Jefferson. LaVoy Allen comes in for Thaddeus Young. C.J. Myers, he's checked in for George. And it's Brooks in for Jeff T. But he gets it back. Love outside. LeBron. Uses the glass to drop it in. Now guarded by Shumper. Lock at six. Indiana again, missing. And Shumpert had that ACL tear on the two. Oh, 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 oh. Up high and down hard. That's yeah, right. That's right. You use it, brother. <laughs> Curtains. We can shut it down now. Because that one, we won't see anything better than that fella. Oh, come on, Clark. Maybe he'll do it again. No, he won't <laughs> top that up. Hey, no way. I wouldn't put it past him, Clark. This guy's a crowd pleaser. Robinson, that's good. A little lucky, frankly, but he did get it to go. And Shumper kicks to LeBron. Pass to Love. From deep, Harrison and Smith with the assist that sprint. Saturday, the best day of the week. Let's make it even a little bit better with a halftime show. 
the Cavaliers off to a great start. A dramatic advantage in the paint. They're getting right in close and converting the kind of buckets they want. Kevin Love certainly contributing with his play. He's got five points. Been outstanding on the defensive side of the court as well. Gotten the job done on the glass too. On the Pacers side of things, they managed to hang around. The second chance buckets certainly adding up in this one. They pounded the offensive glass. Paul George really playing effortlessly. He's up to nine points and seven rebounds as well. And that does it for us here in the studio. Thanks so much for joining me. And now back out to Kevin and the gang. The Sprint Halftime Report. Percentage pass, but it, it still nearly got through. I like it, though. I mean, it's an aggressive play. Heads up defending the deflected away. Channing Fries checked in for Cleveland. Focus there, nails the technical. You know, it had been a while since the Pacers were able to win their division. Matter of fact, the last time it happened was the season right before the NBA realigned the divisions to their current state back in 2004. But they were able to raise another banner last season. Come on, Shepard's checked in for J.R. Smith. Short. Indiana again missing. The Cavaliers leading by 16. And LeBron James gets it to go. LeBron's got 25 points. That's outstanding hang time improvisation right there. Well, a big part of why the Pacers were able to take the Central, as you were saying, Clay, they were so dominant within their division. Well, they went 13-3 and three against uh, their division, so not an easy thing to do. Although, if you look at the Central, it was down last year. Derrick Rose's injury, but also uh, rebuilding teams in Milwaukee and, and Detroit and Cleveland. But the Pacers did what they needed to do. Here's Ellis following the basket by LeBron James. Hits the bucket. And it's nine points for Mike. Indiana's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. The drive by Ellis. Hits the bucket. Ellis has got 11. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. Dunleavy kicks to Fry. Jefferson. Pass to Irving. Launches a three. And another three for Cleveland. There's been a 2014 with how their books look. Brooks kicks to Young. Ellis left side. The 19-foot shot gets it to go. Ellis has got 13 points. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. Irving for three, and that one's good. Mm, they are killing them with that three-point shot here in the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out trying to stop that shot and still not able to get it done. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. And another three for Cleveland. Absolutely on fire. Well, it's the edge they've had in that area, on the glass, that's played a big role in this game. And they've got some strong guys, Steve. Guys that are strong and well put together, and they've used that strength to their advantage down low. A finish, and it's George finishing it off. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a court. The feet to LeBron. They get a hand on it. Paul George with the steal. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. Teague, the pass to Robinson. That's good. They're looking significantly better now, but still a long way to go to get all the way back into this. Well, at least the effort's there now. It had been sorely lacking early. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. He's been working some magic out there today. Here's George, and some very quick points for him on that possession. George has got 10 points in the quarter. He's really stepped it up this quarter. Looks like he's determined to get them out of this hole all by himself. Smith kicks to Irving. Love outside. LeBron. Shot from 16, and it's wide right. It's off the rim. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. And there's Paul George on the assist by Seraphim. Guard everybody, Scotty Pittman or Dennis Rodman. Offensively, Magic Johnson could play any position he wanted, but to be able to do so at both ends is what separates LeBron James. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. 
but that one's going to count. Number 20. Yes! Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Indiana's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Allen, and that's good. Robinson picking up the assists. Play with the lead. Keep attacking. Paul George, he's checked in for Thaddeus Young. And it's Allen slamming it down. Number 20, Brooks covering. Number 20, lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. And the crowd here, of course, not happy about the outcome. But you know what? We saw a team tonight that came in prepared to do battle right, on the road, and they clearly wanted to win. You know, they were determined to steal this game, and they showed it, Steve. Played harder and got the job done. This run probably just a case of too little too late. But at least they're still going after it and playing hard. It would appear as we come to an end. Well, hey, let's just call it what it is. They are trying to run it up on them. That's good. And tack on a few more points to the lead. Why not? I suppose this is an emphatic showing for this club. And, Steve, they did it in style. A beat down the entire way. Out of bounds. Indiana takes possession. Here's Brooks. No good. And so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this one. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just did one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Holland saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, LeBron James.